All right, Mr. Broderick here again uh, with a quick five-minute biology lesson. Um, this will be standard 2.04, which deals with enzymes. So hopefully this is a good review for you. Um, enzymes are a macromolecule. They're proteins. So it's a protein, which therefore means they're made of what? That's right, made of amino acids, chained together. And those are made at the ribosome, if you remember. And those amino acids chain together and fold to make a shape. And enzymes are just a specific protein that help accomplish pretty much one primary function and lots of different functions under that umbrella. But they, they, they speed up or they in increase the rate of chemical reactions. So breaking things apart, putting things together in our body, enzymes accomplish that function. So they're proteins made of amino acids. They speed up chemical reactions. And that generally looks something like this. We call what goes in to an enzyme reaction the substrate. So for example, starch in your mouth. And we call what comes out of it products, just like a general chemical reaction. And the enzyme is what mediates that reaction or helps it go quicker. So the enzyme is helping the substrate right here be converted into the product right here at the end. And you can see that in this next, I'll jump ahead here. Um, here's an example. Uh, here's an enzyme which has a shape that fits the substrate, and the substrate's up here to the top left. That substrate is made of two molecules, this side a disaccharide, or it's a, just a two, it has two parts to it, kind of like a sucrose table sugar. Um, the substrate fits right into this spot right here. And we call that spot where the substrate fits the active site on a protein, because that's where the reaction happens. So the enzyme brings it into the active site, and that active site has a specific shape and chemical properties, charge, other things you'll learn in your chemistry class that help it the reaction progress either maybe break apart in this case so we have products made so if you follow the arrow down to here the products are made it's split up sometimes putting them together um, sometimes modifying the products or the I mean the substrates um, in different ways so that's the general um, enzyme mediated reaction here you have a substrate fitting into an active site of the enzyme making products now notice how the substrate fits right in here and the shape is a nice good fit that is true of enzymes. They are specific, if I come back to this one, they are specific kind of like how a tool, like a wrench, is specific to um, its substrate, which would be like a, a nut or a bolt. All right? They go to, the enzyme fits with the, the bolt um, and is able to create the products, and that fit happens at the active site, so the part where the A and B molecules right here um, attached. Okay, so enzymes have a couple properties, and let me make a new page for this. They are specific, which means that enzymes can only speed up reactions of a certain type. So you have starch in your mouth. Starch is made into glucose, because it's made of glucose, it's a chain, by something called amylase. Now amylase is the enzyme that speeds up starch breaking into glucose, and it can only speed up starch. It can't break down proteins into their amino acids. Amino acids. No. That cannot happen with amylase. It can only do starch to glucose. So they're specific. They are reusable which means they can be used over and over again, like the wrench, like a tool. Um, they don't change. Um, they're only degraded when their use is no longer needed, like if they're part of a cell that dies. And then the last part, so specific, reusable, and they denature. And this is an interesting thing. All proteins do this. This just means to change shape due to some environmental change. It could be heat, like boiling or cooking, or it could be pH change making it an acid or a base, right? More acidic or less acidic than it's typically, its shape holds in, and that's a chemical property of the, of the protein. So when you cook an egg, the egg white, the area around the egg, is typically clear. When you put heat to it from a flame for a Bunsen burner, something like that, this becomes not clear, but white. And what's happened is that the proteins have denatured. And when they denature, they change shape and it becomes white. Um, so adding heat can denature or change shape of an enzyme and it doesn't work. Uh, I'm going to kind of flip here to the internet to show you kind of what exactly I'm talking about with shapes and enzymes. Now this is a complicated model. This is an enzyme and I can flip it around and show you the rotation of the enzyme. This is the ball and stick model so you see all the atoms and all the bonds from all the amino acids. Um, if I click the cartoon format you'll see the amino acid chain. This white strand like a string cheese, is the amino acid sequence. So it's the, all the amino acids chained together, and we see the backbone of that. 
we see these purple and pink things and orange things. Those are different shapes that are formed by the folding of the protein. These are helixes, so squirrels, and these are sheets, these gold things. Um, so they're kind of like uh, folded pieces of paper in a way. And those are characteristic shapes of an enzyme. And if we flip this enzyme just right, we can see the barrel shape where starch passes through. This is amylase, and starch passes through right here and is broken apart into glucose. And if you really want to get technical, I can show you, let me get down here, this little thing right here, it's an amino acid, it's part of the active site. There's a couple amino acids right here which do the job of breaking apart the starch molecule. So it passes through this like a barrel. And some of the chemical properties of these amino acids allow a reaction to occur that breaks the bonds of that starch molecule, making little glucoses. So enzymes are not just shapes you see in cartoons drawn by me on the board. They're actually three-dimensional folded shapes. But you can see there is an active site, that shape right here, that fits only starch. Other things might pass through it, but they won't be broken apart like starch would. Right. So that was a quick overview of enzymes. Hopefully you understand. There's a, these are the properties, and I'll leave them up here for the final, final take.